Item SCP-002 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-002 is to remain connected to a suitable power supply at all times to keep it in what appears to be a recharging mode. In case of electrical outage the emergency barrier between the object and the facility is to be closed in the immediate area evacuated. Once facility power is re-established alternating bursts of X-ray and ultraviolet light must strobe the area until SCP-002 is re-affixed to the power supply and returned to recharging mode. Containment area is to be kept at negative air pressure at all times. Teams including a minimum of two members are required within 20 meters of SCP-002 or its containment area. Personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confirm there is another person present as perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by proximity to the object. No personnel below level 3 are permitted within SCP-002. This requirement may be waived via written authorization from two off-site level 4 administrators. Command staff issued such a waiver must be escorted by at least five level 3 security personnel for the duration of their contact and must temporarily surrender their rank and security clearance. Following contact, command staff will be escorted at least 5 kilometers from SCP-002 to undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation. If deemed fit for return to duty by psych staff, rank and security clearance may be restored when quarantine expires. Description SCP-002 resembles a tumorous, fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 cubic meters or 2,000 cubic feet. An iron valve hatch on one side leads to its interior, which appears to be a standard low-run department of modest size. One wall of the room possesses a single window, though no such opening is visible from the exterior. The room contains furniture which, upon close examination, appears to be sculpted bone, woven hair, and various other biological substances produced by the human body. All matter tested thus far show independent or fragmented DNA sequences for each object in the room. Reference to date, subject has been responsible for the disappearances of seven personnel. It has also in its time at the facility further furnished itself with two lamps, a throw rug, a television, a radio, a bean bed chair, three books in an unknown language, four children's toys, and a small potted plant. Tests with a variety of lab animals including higher primates have failed to provoke a response in SCP-002. Cadavers as well fail to produce any effect. Whatever process the subject uses to convert organic matter into furnishings is apparently only facilitated by the introduction of living humans.